Hey, it's Orange Student here, and today we're going to be talking about JavaFX and Scene Builder and demonstrating how we can use a choice box, and whenever we pick one of the options from the choice box, then some event is handled or some action event is triggered. But first of all, I have a running JavaFX application, and I have my sample FXML document connected to Scene Builder. There will be linked down in the description how to get both these things set up. So what we'd like to do is first get a choice box. And in this case, I will just get some text. And I will make this text a bit bigger. I will then give the text just an ID. In this case, I'll just call it text because it's going to be very simple and small program, so the name doesn't matter too much. And I'm just going to call my choice box for choice box. I'm going to save. And I'm going to view show sample controller skeleton. I'm going to copy and then paste it inside my controller. And I'm first going to tell my choice box it's going to be containing strings. I will then implement initializable because when we're going to be running the program, we are in this case going to be setting some values to our choice box. Inside initialize, we're going to do Choice box dot get not value but get items dot add and we're just gonna add one. I'm just gonna copy it and add a two and a three. So I'm gonna try running the program just to check it works. So now when we run the program, we have the options to pick between the one, the two and the three. And previously in the last video I did about choice boxes, I simply demonstrated whenever you pick a value, you can have a button then you can click this button, you can get the value or maybe in this case, change the value of a text to the value of the choice box. But in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to have an action triggered whenever you pick a value from the choice box. So what we would like to do is change the way the choice box work. So we're going to be doing choice box dot set on action. And this set on action is going to take an action event. So I'm just going to do action event. And this action event is a lambda function. And what it does is when some kind of event is triggered, in this case, when something, some of the choices are picked, we would able to trigger this event and this event does something. So in first case, let's just demonstrate it's going to be printing our choice box dot get value. So we're just going to be printing to the console the value of the picked one. In this case, one, two, three, and it triggers whenever I pick one. Or I can change it so instead of writing to the console, we would just simply change our text dot set text to be the choice box dot get value. There we go. So now if we run the program again, we get that simply whenever I pick one of the values from the choice box, it changes the text. So that's simply the basics of it. Have a choice box, then inside initialize, set the choice box to set an action and then set this action event to something. And if you want to do something that contains multiple lines, you just need to put it inside brackets like this. And then you can actually do more than one thing. I just need to remove one of those like this. And then we could add an example to be printing to the screen. Which means we can also type something to the screen. Let's just do hello world. So let's run the program. So now we both trigger and change the text and print to the screen. And in this case, we can add as many lines of code we want and do whatever we want. So this is the basics of creating a choice box, which is on action triggered. So whenever you choose one of the topics, it will trigger some kind of action. If you enjoyed this video, please like, leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.